hey guys welcome back to clarity chart analysis and in this video i'll be using market structure to tell us our current position of the same using token on the price market chart and also using market structure to predict the next possible move of the optimism token but first guys if you're new to this channel and you want to make money on both direction of the market you want to know our current position of price on the price market chart this market this channel is for you please subscribe like and put on the notification to be notified anytime i drop a new video so guys on our daily time frame the most recent break of structure we saw was a break of structure to the downside and guys we're expecting a pullback because remember my emphasis on this channel is after every break of structure you should expect to pull back guys are we on a pullback phase Sure, we're on a pullback phase because it was this swing that gave us this lower low. But guys, we've seen price traded above it and now we've seen price gone down again. So are we still on a pullback phase or we're back to an impulsive phase? We'll be going back to a 4 hour time frame to go analyze and see what price is doing on our 4 hour time frame. If we are still on a pullback phase, we expect our 4 hour time frame to be on a bullish trend. And if we are back to an impulsive phase, we expect our 4 hour time frame to be on a bearish trend. But guys, let's fully know that price is trading between this upper swing and this lower swing of our four hour time frame of our daily time frame. So guys, coming back to our four hour time frame. And guys, remember that with market structure you can make money on both direction of the market. When price is bullish and when price is bearish, you can actually make money on both direction of the market. And guys, also remember that with market structure you can predict the next possible move of the market. All you need to do is you just need to trade alongside with market structure. And that's why Clarity Chart Analysis is here to give you updates on market structure. So guys, coming back to our 4-hour time frame, it was this swing that gave us this lower long of same price traded above it. Pull back, broke more structure to the upside, pull back and broke more structure to the upside and pull back and broke more structure to the upside. And guys, that shows we're done with the pullback phase because after then we we'll see price continue breaking structure to the downside. So guys, our far out time frame is now back to a bearish trend. And what does that mean? It means that our daily time frame is back to an impulsive phase. So we should not be surprised that we'll continue seeing more break of structure to the downside. So guys, currently we're trading between this upper swing of our far out time frame and this lower swing of our far out time frame. Guys, if we can see price take out this swing, that shows this upper swing, that shows we are back to a pullback phase on our daily time frame. But guys, if price should come back and take out this lower swing of our 4 hour time frame, that shows we are still on an impulsive phase because now price is now back to a bearish trend. So guys, let's go back to a 1 hour time frame. Let's go see if we can source for more information. And guys, remember that after every break of structure, what should we expect? We should expect a pullback freeze. So guys, our most recent break of structure we saw on our 1 hour time frame 2 was a break of structure to the downside. So guys, this was the swing that gave us this lower low and we've seen price traded above it. Telling us that our 1 hour time frame, our 4 hour time frame is on a pullback phase. That's why we're seeing this bullish trend. So guys, let's trade carefully. Let's trade alongside with market structure. Remember that our daily time frame just broke structure to the downside. We expected the pullback and sure we saw a pullback on our far time frame. We saw price went back, it gave us a bullish trend. And now we are back to a bearish trend on our far time frame, telling us that price is now back to an impulsive phase on our daily time frame. While on our one hour time frame, currently we are on a bullish trend because we expected a pullback phase for our far time frame. Because the most recent break of structure we saw on our far time frame was a bearish trend, meaning breaking structure to the downside. So, guys, let's trade carefully. Let's trade alongside with market structure. And remember that clarity chart analysis is there to give updates on market structure. But, guys, for you not to miss out, please subscribe, like, and put on the notification to be notified anytime I drop a new video. Thank you, guys, for watching this video.